Hi there folks, Andrew here at ChatFuel. Now, don't you hate it when customers are sending you the same questions over and over again on Facebook Messenger? Well, lucky for you, we've designed a template that will help you automate the answers to those questions, all on autopilot. Like literally while you're sleeping, your bot is doing the work for you. So before we jump into the tutorial, just a quick note here, this video is divided into two sections. The first half is designed to help you get up and running as quickly as possible with ease. And the second half is designed for more advanced users who would like more customization and functionality. So are you ready to rock? Let's go. All right, so really quickly here before we get started, obviously we need to install this template in our ChatFuel account. And you might have already done this if you're already inside the Flows tab in ChatFuel. But in case you're not, here's how to install it. From this screen, we wanna click on the button down here, Save Group to Bot, so I'll click that. It'll open up ChatFuel. I can see a blank bot listed here, so I'll click to copy that template to my chatbot. And then once this is complete, I can click view group here to see it in the chat field dashboard in the flow builder. Now, once I'm here, we have to mention what flows are. You'll see in this template, there are three flows, FAQs, FAQs question rating and bot main menu. So a flow is just a piece of the conversation. And you might be asking, well, what do each of these flows do? The FAQs, as you might expect, is where users can ask questions and get answers. FAQs question rating is basically after the bot answers the user's question, we wanna follow up with them and ask, hey, how well did we actually answer your question? Because if we answered it poorly, we wanna know that and iterate going forward to resolve those inquiries. And then finally here we have bot main menu, and this is just a navigational menu, a home feature, if you will, where the user can return to at any point in the conversation to ask questions and get answers. So now that we've installed the template, it's time to customize it with our business information. And before we do that, you might be asking, Andrew, why are there no yellow boxes on your screen like there are on mine? Don't worry, those are just notes to help you customize the template, but since I'm holding your hand through that right now over a video, I've removed those for simplicity. So don't worry if you still see those completely normal. So that being said, let's go in and customize our business information here. And to do that, I'm gonna zoom in, which I can do by either clicking these plus and minus buttons right here, or I can also use the two finger vertical scroll on my trackpad, and that'll help you zoom in a little bit faster. Now, all of these fields marked with the caution emoji is the fields that you actually wanna replace with your business information. And I'll show you where those key places are right now. All right, cool. So we've customized this FAQs flow, and then the only other field to customize is in this FAQs question rating flow right here. And once this loads, I'll show you where that is. That is the red box that's highlighted over here. So I'll zoom in on that, and we just need to replace the email field here with our email that we want notifications from the users to be sent to. So basically, if the user has a piece of feedback that they send to your bot, you can email that information directly to your staff, yourself, et cetera. So I'm going to delete this field and type in, let's say admin at pizza.com, press return, and we are now good to go. We've customized all the business information in our chatbot template. All right, so now that we've updated our business information in the chatbot template, believe it or not, it's actually time to set it live, publish it, and share it with the world. So we're gonna do that through something called entry points. These are just different sources where users, meaning traffic, can come into your chatbot. So in this section, we're gonna be focusing on two, the Facebook page entry point and the persistent menu. Later in this video, in the advanced section, we'll talk about the customer chat plugin, which allows you to embed your chatbot on your website. So to enable the Facebook page entry point, first we need to connect our chatbot to our Facebook page. So to do that, I'm gonna hover over this this warning icon right here and click connect now. This will take me into the grow tab and I see my business page listed here. So I'll click connect to page and this will again, set the chat bot live on that page. 
Now we can go back into Flow Builder and take a look at those two entry points. Again, the Facebook page and the persistent menu. And then in the next step, we'll actually show you how they work and test them in the wild. So now all that we have left to do for this Facebook page entry point is click on this toggle right here to set it live. We'll click continue and we're good to go. The chatbot is now live on our Facebook page and our fans, our users who are messaging us can interact with it. Now, secondarily here, we have the persistent menu, and this is similar to that main menu over here that I was talking about earlier. This is just a navigational menu, three buttons, three options that are always accessible to users, no matter where they are in the conversation, so they can go back, go to main features and functionalities in the chatbot. And I'll show you more about what this looks like on the user side of things in the next section. But to set this live, we also wanna to toggle this switch right here and we are good to go. And here we are on the Facebook page that we just connected our chatbot to. So obviously this last step for the most basic level of customization is critically important. You wanna do this to test the chat experience from the user's perspective. So to do that, I'm going to click the send message button right here, and this chat window will pop up as expected. Up top here, you have a series of questions. These are called icebreakers, which again, we set up in Flow Builder. And these are just quick rapid fire questions that users can click to ask and then get that instant response. On the other hand, users can also click the get started button down here, which will take them through a more detailed onboarding, if you will. But for the time being, let's just say I'm curious about the business hours, so I can click that and we'll get that instant response again with all the information that we customized. If I click more options down here, that'll take me to that main menu flow that we looked at earlier in Flow Builder, which again is fully customizable, very easy visual drag and drop editing. Now, finally here, of course, we have to mention the persistent menu, which we just were talking about. That is that always accessible menu in the bot, and it's located right down here, these three horizontal lines, the hamburger style icon, even though we're a pizzeria. So if I click on that, again, at any point in the conversation, I can click these main features to go to that point in the bot, and get that relevant information if I feel stuck or confused. So again, that is the most basic level of customization here for this template. Obviously, if you stick around, we'll talk about much more advanced functionality and customization that you can do. But in the meantime, if you have any questions, be sure to reach out to our support team at team at chatfuel.com. All right, so kudos to you for wanting to expand the functionality and customization of your FAQ template. In this section, I'm gonna show you how to add custom questions, as well as how to use more rich content that's interactive and fun, rather than just text and buttons alone, because users can get bored of that very quickly. So first, to add a custom question, I'm gonna zoom in here on the Facebook page entry point, which we were just looking at. And once I'm here, I'm going to hover over the gray area where the icebreakers are and click add FAQ option, right? So for example, let's say that at my restaurant, I'm getting lots of messages from people asking if we serve vegan options. And so in that case, I'm going to type in here vegan options. And maybe this is super popular of a question. So I'm going to drag this up to the very top of the list for maximum visibility. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to click on this connector right here, drag it over and choose send message, right? This is the response, the answer that we're gonna give to the user once they click that button. And then here, let's say I wanna list out the top three most popular vegan entrees that we serve. So I'm going to click add content and I'll choose the gallery card. This is just a nice way to visualize lots of information, lots of content. So I'll add three cards here for the gallery. And to do that, I'll hover over the image, click the plus button and do it again for three in total. And obviously here I could upload beautiful images of the entree, of the dish. For the title, I could type in the name of that dish. For the subtitle, maybe I type in the price. And then for the buttons, I could even link to a website where users can place an order and actually convert, which is delivering very meaningful business value for us. Now, once you have this response actually set up and polished, you're going to click the sync changes to messenger button down here and that will update your messenger bot the live version of it so that new users who are messaging you will see that option 
Now, a couple other things to mention in terms of rich content that you can use in addition to the gallery card right here. And the first of which is the image, right? So down here we have our business hours. In this case, it's very simple and straightforward, right? Monday through Friday, nine to five. But maybe you have much more complicated business hours and it would be better to help users visualize that through an image. So for example, I can click down here, add content, choose image. And then if I wanted to drag that up to the top and upload an image of our business hours on something like a calendar. Now, lastly, another very popular media type content type in chat fuel is of course video content. So down here, we're talking about the business's story, kind of the backstory of it. So I think this is a prime place to add a video rather than just explaining it through text, right? So again, I can click add content here and choose video and either have it down here or drag it up. And all that I need to do here is upload the video to Facebook and paste in the URL and it will be all set, good to go. You can entertain and educate your users along the way. As promised earlier, now it's time to talk about the customer chat plugin, which allows you to embed your chatbot on your website. And of course, this is the third and final entry point that we'll be talking about in this video. So to customize it and embed it on the website, I'm going to zoom in here on the customer chat entry point. I will click on it. And once I do, it's gonna prompt me for my website, my domain, right? So for the pizzeria, maybe it's pizza.com. In this case though, I'm gonna enter in kind of a random website name, which is w3schools.com, just because this is the HTML editor that I'm gonna be using to demo this. But obviously you wanna use your actual website here. Now, once that's set up, we need to hop on over into our Facebook page settings. So under settings and advanced messaging, I'm gonna scroll down here to whitelisted domains. And we also wanna enter in that domain here, which I've already done. So now that we're good there and there, all that we have to do is copy this code and toggle on the entry point. So I'm gonna click copy code and toggle on the entry point so it's active. Great, so now literally all we need to do is paste that code on our website and we are set. So I'm gonna hop on over into W3Schools here and between the body tags of the website here and here, I'm gonna paste in that code like so, click run and you'll see the customer chat plugin pop up in the lower right hand corner here. So if I click it, you will see it pop up. I can continue whether I'm a logged in user or as a guest if I don't have a Facebook account or I'm not logged in. So that's how to set up the customer chat plugin to have your bot function on your website. All right, so in closing here, I wanna show you how to manage live chat in ChatFuel because as a refresher in this follow-up flow that we're sending, the user has the ability to engage with a human agent in live chat. So I'm going to zoom in on the beginning of this flow, which is really this send message block right here. And I'll hover over, click this messenger icon to test it and test in messenger. So this is what the user will experience, right? So how well did we answer your question? I'll say one star, not very well. And then here I can click as a user to start a live chat. So if I click that, it's going to enter me into that live chat. Now the user realistically isn't going to get this message. It's because I'm also the admin. So I'm the user and the admin in this case. So that's why I'm getting this message. But the user will then be dropped into live chat. And the question is, well, how should my support agents actually respond to these users, where can they do that? So if we go back into chat fuel, I'll show you where. It's right in this live chat tab right here. You can see the notification has already popped up. So if I click on that, the user will be dropped into this active folder where I can then click and see their chat history and what they might need help with for context, right? So very, very simple here, but essential to note that users might need human attention. They might need that additional help. So this is where you can manage it in the live chat tab. Woohoo! Congratulations, you made it all the way through this video. You are now successfully automating your FAQs on Facebook Messenger on autopilot. So bravo, give yourself a well-deserved pat on the back. Now, if you have further questions, be sure to direct them to our support team at team at chatfuel.com and also check the description below for additional resources that you'll definitely find valuable. So thanks again for watching and happy botting.